I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on mastering strategies and learning tricks to solve multiple choice test papers. Now these days in most of the competitive exams you have multiple choice test papers where you are expected to answer within 30 seconds and this also includes reading and understanding of the question. So that means you have to be really fast at doing things. You may know how to solve a problem, but doing or solving the same problem in 30 seconds is a different ball game. Let us try to understand how to solve questions related to percent change in this particular video. So I'll give you some very basic concepts and important questions which are so many times seen in any test paper. So let's first understand what is the meaning of percent change. So percent change means whatever you get as your final amount. So we say final number, we'll call this as a final number minus initial starting, right? So initial number divided by, it is always divided by the initial or the starting number, right? So initial number times 100. So that is the basic formula. Now percentage change will be in income, in increasing or growth or so many questions, right? So what we will do is we'll keep it very basic and simple. So we'll focus on area of a rectangle. Now that really covers most of the examples which you could have, right? So the concept which you're going to learn in this video can be applied anywhere. Okay, so this is your basic percent change. Second, you will also notice that there are a few common things which we come across and that is we say terms like 10%, right? 20% and then we have like 25% like this, right? So these are normal percent changes which we are looking into. Now a percent change could be a positive value or a negative value, right? So, so we could have a 10% plus or we could have 10% minus in any question, right? So when I say 10% plus, it means what? So 10% plus means things increase by 10%. So 10% also means 10 over 100 or 1 out of 10. Right? So let me write 1 out of 10 here. 1 out of 10. So that is 10%, right? Hun 10 out of 100 or, or let's begin with 10 out of 100. So let's say 10 out of 100, which is equal to 1 out of 10. That is what 10% is. Now, if you want to increase something, right? So if I say you want to increase, in that case, the number 10 becomes 11, correct? And if you want to decrease, then the number 10 becomes 9. Do you see that? So what we will follow a nomenclature as something like this. If I say 10% increase, right? So if I say 10% increase, for me, that will mean initially if I have a unit length of 10, let's say it's 10 centimeter long, the length of a rectangle. So 10% increase means we are adding, right? So increasing means always adding. So that means after 10% increase, the number 10, the number 10 will become 11, correct? But if I say that there is a decrease by 10%, in that case, the number 10 will actually become what? 9, correct? So, so 9 minus 10 is minus 1 divided by 10 times 100 is 10% decrease. You get the idea, right? So the whole concept here is to look into decrease and increase in terms of numbers, right? So think like this, 10 minus one is nine. 
10 plus 1 is 11. So that is how you have to see degrees and increase, right? So, so we are taking time here to understand the whole concept so that once we understand it, then we can quickly get through the questions, right? So let's look into the second part, which is like what is 20% and 25%? Okay, so 20% means when we say 20%, it is 20 over 100, which is 20%, correct? So if you cancel this, you get 1 out of 5, correct? So that means if I am writing increase by 20%, that means we'll say 1 over 5 changes to 5 plus 1, 6. But if I say decrease in 20%, that means 5 take away 1 will become 4. Do you see that change now? So let me draw a line here to make you understand the concept. So in this case, the number increased from 5 to 6 and that is 20% increase. If the number changes from 5 to 4, it means 20% decrease. Perfect. Similarly, a 25% means 25 over 100, which is same as 1 out of 4. So when I say increase by 1 over 4, I mean 25%, it really means 4 changes to 5. And if I say decrease by 25%, 4 changes to 1 less, which is 3. So these are your changed numbers. So now what we are going to do here is to work with these changed numbers and get our results quickly. So that is the whole concept. So I hope you got the whole concept. So we'll take up six or seven rapid fire questions and see if you could solve them within 30 seconds or lesser. Perfect. Makes sense. Okay, let's move on. So here is the very first question. I'd like you to pause the video, copy the question, try it out, and then use my approach to get the answer, right? If the length of a rectangle is increased by 25% and the width is decreased by 20%, then the area of the rectangle increases by 5%, decreases by 5%, remains unchanged or increases by 10%. So let's look into it. So when we say area, because we are going to talk about area in 5 or 6 videos, area means length into width, right? So basically two dimensions are being multiplied. So let's now look into our concept of increase and decrease and then we'll see how to get these answers quickly. When we say length of the rectangle is increased by 25%, that means 25% is 1 out of 4 plus means increase. right? So we'll write 1 out of 4. So that basically means increase by 25%. So 1 out of 4. So when you increase it by 25%, then what happens? The dimension which was 4 changes to 4 plus 1 and you get 5 here. You get the idea, right? So, so it becomes 4 plus 1 and you get 5. That is what it is. When I am going to decrease the width by 20% means negative 20% is 1 out of 5. Right? So now think about it. We are saying decrease by 20%. Right? So, so decrease means this negative sign and we are decreasing it by 20%. Then what happens? Well, in this case, 5 minus 1 is 4. The final becomes this. So what is the area? So now let's calculate the area now for both the cases. So whenever we work in these questions, our initial will be this side and final will be that side. So, and these bottom values are the initial values, 4 and 5, correct? So we get 4 times 5, which is equal to 20. In this case, we have final values as 5 times 4, which is also equal to 20. That means no change. Does it make sense? So option C is the right option. Now let's again look at it. When I say 25% means 25 over 100, which is a quarter. 
So it is 1 out of 4, right? Increase means if I start with a dimension of 4 units, right? So think now like this. I started with dimension of 4 and width of 5. So this was initially 4 and this was initially 5. Now when I decreased it or increased it, increasing by 4 means I changed this by 1 more. And decreasing this by 4 means I changed it like this and we get that as our new rectangle. So the area of these two, the old and new, we found are same. So there is no change. Do you get the concept? Perfect. Now, if you read this question in the test paper, you have to do this. Increase by 25% means plus 1 over 5 and write 5 on the other side. 1 over 4 and write 5 there. So 4 is your initial length, 5 is your final length. Decrease by 20%. 20% means 1 over 5 minus is decrease. Take away 1 from 5, write 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 5 times 4 is 20. No change. Answer C. Does it make sense to you? Let us try it out with an example now. Now this time I am making same change. If the length of the rectangle is increased by 10, 10 is 1 out of 10. In that case, 10 becomes 11. We have increased. And the width is decreased by means less by 10%. Means 10 now becomes 9. So what is the area here? Area here is 10 times 10 which is 100. In this case, it is 9 times 11, which is 99. So you see clearly, 100 changed to 9. That means what? Minus 1%. So decrease by 1% is your answer. So do you realize that we could really do it in 30 seconds? That is how you are going to do it, right? So another question here, which you should do even before I speak out anything, right? It says, Find the percentage increase in the area of a rectangle if each side is increased by 20%. So, each side, 20% means 1 out of 5, right? So, we are increasing each side by 20%. So, that really means 5 becomes 6, right? And this was initially 25, now it is 36. So, that means it should be percentage increases how much? Percentage increase will be 36, which is the final, minus initial of 25 over 25 times 100. Now, that is equal to how much? 36 take away, this is 11, right? So, 11 over 25 times 100, which is 4, correct? So, it gives you 44%. You need to do some calculations here. But I have taken time to just show this, right? Basically, it is a difference between these two. So what you do here is you have to do the difference and you can clearly see final minus initial, right? So when you say final minus initial, it is clearly 11 out of initial, which is 25 times 100, right? So that goes four times and you get 44 as your answer. Does it make sense to you? So... Explaining wise, well, this is fine. Multiple choice questions, you have to write your numbers and work straight with your numbers to get your answer within 30 seconds. So that is the whole idea, right? So let's take another question here. Now this time, I've changed my question to a circle. Now to give you some background, uh, let's talk about a circle now for some time. Some of you may know, when I say circumference, we mean 2 pi r, right? And when we say area, we mean pi r square, right? Circumference is proportional to r and this is proportional to r square. So this is very important to understand. Formula at least you should know, right? Okay. Now we are going to apply our strategy. The question is, if the circumference of the area is decreased by 10, 50%. So area, if the circumference is decreased by 50%, that means R value, right? So that means R is decreased by 50%. 50% means half. 
Now, if you decrease this, then what is 2 minus 1 equals to? Let me write here. 2 minus 1 equals to 1. What you get is 1. You get the idea. Okay. So, that happens. So, now you can think as if you started with initial area, initial radius equals to 2. Final radius is what? Is 1. Do you see that? So, if you apply the formula r square, pi is constant. Nothing is going to change because of pi. Correct? It's a constant. So, it is going to cancel because you have initial amount in the denominator also. So, what is your area here? Area is proportional to what? 2 square, right? 2 square. And in this case, 1 square. So, the final area is 1. This is 4. So, what is change in area? I should say change in area in percent wise will be 1 minus 4 divided by this 4 times 100. Okay, so 100 is obvious. So, this is minus 3 out of 4, which is 75%. Does it make 7? 75% as your answer? So, decrease by 75% is going to be your answer. Is that clear? So, what you need to do here is, again, think the same way. 50% means 1 out of 2. Decrease means minus. 2 minus 1 is 1. Pi r square, this is 4 and this is 1. Change is 1 minus 4. Don't forget that, right? So, 1 minus 4. Divide by 4. Initial amount to get your answer. And 75% will then be your answer. Does it make sense to you, right? So, you may be required to do the calculations. And even with calculations, you will be in a position to answer this question within 40 seconds, right? So, try it out and time it out. Last question for you. So, I'd like you to just pause the video now, work on this question, and then let me know what you get. Now, this is slightly tricky. If the length of a rectangle is decreased by 20%, means 1 out of 5 minus, and what we get here is 1 less than 5, which is 4. By what percent should the width be increased? To make no change in area, right? So, now we don't know by what percent this should happen. So that we have no change in area. You get my point? Well, what we should do here is, we know we could work with these two numbers. And let us assume that area is 1. Or something like this, right? So, as no change means that, correct? Now, think like this. If I somehow could make this number as 5, in that case, how can I make this as 5? It is only if I increase by 4 to 5 means increase by 25%, I can make this 5. So, that means this number was 4, right? So, I am going to multiply 5 and 4 to get 20 here and 4 and 5 to get 20 there. So, there is no change. Do you see that? And to make 4 to 5, I have to increase by 25%, right? So, from 4 to 5 is 25%. So, the answer here is increase by 25%. Do you get the sense of it, right? So, what we used, we used the two numbers we had. So, if you get back to your number, you are ensuring that there is no change, right? So, the second operation is helping you to get back your number. Now, from 4, how do you get 5? By an increase in 25%. Do you see that? So, that plus is for increase. And that is how you are going to solve such a question. Does make sense to you. So, with that, I will conclude this video. So, you can now understand how we are in a position to answer any question related to percent change without doing much calculations. So, that helps us to basically get the results in no time. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you really like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Right? So, you should also share my videos with your friends. Thanks for watching and all the best.